in my video I decided to use a green screen to create well to allow me to make a virtual background rather than having to create a set I did consider that I was gonna make a box with sand and move the car uh, the little cars through but I chose I decided with the green screen instead now I've done green screen before but I have to admit this was definitely a lot more challenging when you're just standing in front of the green screen it's a lot easier to light your green screen and your actor of course it has its own challenges as well but here you're lighting a green screen and I had a green screen on the bottom and on uh, the back side or uh, or two sides so that when my camera was shooting I could uh, you know I'd have the the horizon basically so I could put a sun uh, a sky or a night sky in there um, so it created its own challenges lighting had to be from all directions and honestly in the end I think I should have gone with a blue screen versus a green screen I didn't take into account my little army guys were green um, the yellow of the trucks you know kinda melded in with some of the green so I probably should have used a blue screen or maybe even some other color but green is what I used and so I had to overcome some things so um, here is is my video footage vehicles moving with the, the virtual backgrounds so here's that same segment on it I have my videos and here you can see the green screen and yes I wish I would have ironed it a little little better uh, or well ironed it when hanging behind an actor wrinkles you can usually hide with lighting eh, here didn't work out so well so that was one of my obstacles but that's okay I think I overcame it fairly well next time I'll do a lot better but that allows me to te to show you how to overcome some of these challenges so let's talk about that right now so we've got three clips here convoy one convoy two and then actually convoy one and you'll notice convoy one is going in the opposite direction so I'll show you how to do that as well even though we're talking about green screen so working with convoy one first we're gonna click on it and we gotta get rid of this green screen and then I also have to deal with this wrinkle and dark spot here and a couple easy ways to get around that if possible not always works but first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna crop it down so that we only have to take the green screen out of the most uh, you know right around the truck so we don't have to work with so many different variances I mean we got dark up here we've got this fold of, you can see where my light is it's, it's pretty bright right there and then in the front here is fairly basic basically even uh, so in order to get it down we're going to first crop it so to crop it we got to go to our effects and there's a couple different ways we can go through it cropping is a video effect so we go to video effects and it is transform under transform and there we have crop now another easy way would be to just search crop and there it is so with our, our clip highlighted, selected, we're going to just double click crop. And you'll notice in the effects controls, we see crop here. I'm going to slide this down a little bit so we can see the adjustments. And we're going to make a couple adjustments here. We're going to take the top down to right about there. We don't want to get too close. And you might want to scrub back and forth just to make sure that one of those trucks doesn't dip above it and then might as well bring the bottom up a little bit too and just make it a narrow band now we have to get rid of our green screen in order to do that we since we've searched we want to make sure we click on the X get rid of that crop um, for removing green screens blue screens things like that removing colors we're gonna go to video effects King, and then there's all these selections alpha adjustment blue screen key chroma key and green screens are actually called chroma screens uh, color key ending with ultra key now ultra key to me works the best in most cases uh, you have to play with a few different ones to really find which one works however since I still have my lighting issues on my green screen I've got bright lights and I've got dark areas 
I actually found I had to use a combination of a few of them. We're going to do that. And when you're working with a combination, I found that Ultra Key works best if it is the last one that you add. So we're going to go first up here and we're going to use Color Key. So with my, site, my clip um, selected, my Color Key, I'm going to double click it so that it is an effect on that clip. Scroll down it and you can see it has a color here. Obviously, we don't use we don't have any blue that we're moving, so we need to change that. So, if you click on the little eyedropper, you can then come over to your screen and you can select any one of these colors. What I tend to use color uh, key color for is trying to get all my really bright lights out. So, I'm going to click on the bright one over here. Now, you notice I clicked, it grabbed that color, but nothing changed. Nothing happened. I have to make some adjustments. I have to increase this uh, color tolerance. So I'm going to do that and notice as I slide it, it starts pulling that color aside. I'm going to take it up to about 80. And we'll set that in there. And notice it, it, it only took this front half because that was the brightest area. Now you got to watch, make sure it's not starting to take your, cut into your whatever you're wanting to keep, you know, like my truck here. So we can always slide it back just a hair if we need to. Um, so that's that color. We've got that out a little bit. So now I want to add that ultra key. So I add that ultra key. Here's my ultra key. It starts with the default of black. Of course, we don't want to take out our black because then my wheels would be invisible. So I'm going to click on the eyedropper, and here I'm going to go with a more kind of medium tone. That way you can grab the darker and lighter. So eh, this is a medium tone up here. We'll try that. And you may have to play. You notice it left this kind of white residue here. Well, there's a couple things we can do. Under settings, it's set for default. If you drop that down, you can go relaxed, which is a little less, and that doesn't help us. Or you can go aggressive. By clicking on aggressive, you notice it took out quite a bit, or well, pretty much took all of that. So that is the green screen. For that last clip, I flipped the clip. I flipped it so that it, the vehicles would be going in the other direction. So in order to flip the clip, what I added was a horizontal flip. If I turn it off, it would flip it this way, I'd turn it back on here. To do a horizontal flip, it's in the video effects, transform, and horizontal flip. Once you flipped it, now you'd work with your green screen like we've done with the other videos. That is flipping your video.